tell you, Paul, it was so exciting the other night. I mean, the electricity in that building on Halloween night, it was just, I, I was euphoric. I, I'm at a loss for words. What do you think? Fans, welcome to another edition of Ringside Entertainment. I am your host, the precious one, and we're so happy today because Saturday night, October 28th, at Halloween Happenings down at the Rack, we have new tag team champions. Yes, Team Elite has been defeated, Frankie. Well, you know, of course, that was with a little bit of help from you. No, there was, there was no help from me there. I, I, you know, it's, that, that's, that's, that's not true. Fans, it's, it's, it's so exciting that it's a new day here at Ringside. Team Elite and TJ Anderson, they have, they have lost their belts. TJ Anderson lost his, his $5,000. All the stipulations, they, they, they covered. We're happy. I'm ecstatic, and I, I think we should go to the tape fans. Frankie, let, we got to go to the tape fans. We got to show them. We got to show them. I'm so bewildered. We're not going to touch I mean, anyone. Plus, pinning TJ Anderson is just, I'm beside myself. We got to show fans. Let's go right to the tape, and, and you'll be just excited as I am. You'll be the judge, fans. Roll it. But he's doing all these moves, you know, he's doing the, the rock and the Hogan and the flare and so forth. And then he, he was so tired, he didn't get the pin. He was lackadaisical about so it. I, I gotta give I you mean, that. I have to, I call, but I you call have to admit, though, You have to admit, though, he did you know, show a lot of agility. Well, he did. Come on now. Jumping over those ropes, bouncing around. That's true. Fans, well, there it is, fans. You saw I mean, it. You mean the judge, fans. I mean, a lot of the, I want to... Is it? What? Oh, it's... I hear my friend. Oh, precious. Yes, it's that's your, your, boss and your conscience calling you. How's he cutting in? I'm He's cutting in remotely. You think I want to be a part of that? That embarrassment that I went through Saturday night? Everybody got a big your... funny laugh. TJ Anderson loses five thousand dollars. Team Elite loses the tag belts. Do you think that's funny? You thought it was just so funny, didn't you? Well, you know what's going to be funny. At the end of the show, when I come back and I levy all the fines and all the suspensions for the people who committed egregious sins against this business, against me, and against this company. And oh, blood's on your hands too, precious one. But see, like a nice guy I am, I'm going to clean up that blood. Because you're going to see in a couple of minutes, folks, just what happens when you cross the boss. But I had a little message for Quest and Stunning. See these guys here, 86 years, you get a title, one hit wonder, haven't done nothing since. The betting money says that Quest and Stunning Sean Stevens maybe won't last 86 days. Maybe they won't be able to wrestle in eight days. See, because there's a great equalizer in this business that some of my predecessors have used. Little steel, little aluminum, you know? But like I said, fans, you're about to see just what happens when you cross the boss. So go to the tape and then see how funny it is after we show this bit of footage. And the best manager when you cross the boss. We had another major change, as, as the commissioner has alluded to, that uh, when you cross the commissioner, he, uh, they'll turn on anybody. 
as you see, uh, the Reaper, who's not one of my favorite uh, wrestlers, he got turned upon by his his uh, his partner, the Phoenix, and by the by the co-owner, T.J. Anderson, and the. Uh, the results that we have right now from the doctor is that uh, he has a uh, torn rotator cuff, dislocated shoulder, a torn labrum, and we're looking at a minimum of six to eight months before he gets back in the ring. Now, again, not one of my favorites, but nobody deserves to be treated like that. But there it is, a typical team elite. If you know, if, if they, they don't like you, out they go. They did it to Deanna DeVille. Now they did it to the, the Reaper, so so the commissioner, well, obviously, was not happy that night for losing his money and losing the tax straps. So fans, stay tuned for that. We'll get more updates as the shows progress. But I want to get back to to uh, my my co-host today, the, the fix-up. I understand we had a little disagreement before. We, we kind of patched things up, and now the owner tells him to go meet him someplace. And, and he leaves again. I mean, I, I don't understand that. You know, so if he comes back, I, 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 we'll talk about it. But in the meantime, I want to talk about something else. As you saw at the end of that match, the the new tag team champions come out to save uh, Reaper. And again, I don't understand that. Uh, they've been battling them for over a year, and now they come out and save them, which, you know, i got to bring the tag champs on. I mean, I know they're in the house here, so if I get the Tag Team Champions on, uh, maybe we can find out why they did what they did. And here they are. How you doing, Everett? The champs, Stunny right. Sean Stevens and Quest. Don't forget, Hi. Scott is also a yeah, part of this. Yeah, the chair over here. Why don't you grab a chair for you? Yeah, grab a chair over there, Quest. I'll slide over here. Unfortunately, and the good thing about this is I know TJ is watching, unfortunately, Scott couldn't make it... Um, to the show tonight, he's he's actually on a thousand uh, thousand dollar booze cruise to uh, Bermuda. Oh, so they took some of that money. We gave yeah, Scott on money. a little bit of the guy. Okay. Okay. I actually got so belligerent drunk this weekend they cut me off at about twelve thirty. He did. Oh, uh, we read. What was the tab? Me, him, and Scott ran up like a seven hundred dollar tab. Was, it, it was, was like, awesome. It was seven oh five. Oh man! But we didn't have to worry about that because. We got five thousand dollars. That's right. We well, still have, I did, but I still, covered the bill. We still have a little money to play around with. We yeah, might, we we might go to the wrestling center. Maybe we'll do something about this thing here. Well, I know you guys didn't join I'm us. Yeah, this is beautiful. I know after the show Saturday, you didn't join us over at Kalulu. We spent a fortune. Uh, you guys just did it on your own, but that you was okay. Kalulu, you imagine what his you know, looking would be. By the way, by the way, he actually forced Scott to let him take the title while Scott was away. You forced him. Can I, I have to ask you, now, now, I have to ask you a question. I'm actually pretty confident that as stupid as the commissioner is, it'll be me and Scott defending the tag titles, not... But you're still a champ. I'm a champ. <laughs> but you did hear, you did hear what, what the, uh, the commissioner said. What? Well, remember when he cut in at the beginning of the show, he said at the end of this show, apparently he's, he's got a feed, he's going he's to cut back in, that he's going to be living in fines and suspensions. It's not like I can't afford the fines. I know we can afford the fines now. Not, it goes over 5, not, only, not only does your um, not only does your salary go up as a champion, which I I already knew, but the five, the extra five thousand dollars actually helps out too. But what he can is, levy whatever fine suspension whatever he wants because if he suspends me, I'm going I'm going to I'm going to Disney World. Yeah, I, I feel so giving because you know, seeing as I got the pin, it's supposed to be my five thousand dollars. So I'm ponying up the money that I already have because I know I'm waiting for the check to come, or you know, whatever payment they're going to give me. So I feel like I, I, I share it with the two other, you know, comrades in the ring. The way I catapulted their careers, the way I carried that match, how I orchestrated, the way I just brought them in and out of the ring. The continuity was unbelievable. And then for me to go in and do what I did, I just feel like head and toes above everybody else. I'm, I should be, probably be in the power rankings, right? Quest. What? You fell on your face. No, I didn't. I got the pin. Me and Scott dragged you over to TJ. It's impossible. That's I, all right. You did a fantastic I, job. You no, did hit him with the tombstone. I jumped off the top rope. Superfly snooker on his bloated... Let know. Never mind. And I also, it was a blur the way, the speed and the agility that I was using. I couldn't remember what happened. I went so fast. Did you buy a new memory with the $5,000? No, my computer's fine. Oh, God. 
Did you did you see the tape when we rolled the tape? Yes. Now I called you an idiot. Now I know you did call me an idiot. Okay, but now again, it must have been a glitch. Well, I know there's a glitch. I did call you an idiot because I really why well, did no, you I why did you do why did you do all those moves? The Rock and Hogan and Flair and Cena, and then you got so tired. You didn't. Make, you, you fell well, short of, the, of your mark. There was a reason for that because you know how T.J. Anderson's running a muck throughout this whole federation for that's over true. a year now. That's, that's true. And he's always showboating, and he's trying to bring down my man Sonny Sean Stevens. He's trying to kill the career of Scott Osborne, your RSC champion. So I wanted to showboat a little and stick it in his face. So I, I, I got a little tired. The guys have had me on this regimen that's unbelievable. I've been like hanging and banging, saying my prayers, eating my vitamins, and may, mostly I pass out every night. So I just stayed with it, and and then I just you know I, I showboated, and you know we still got the win, but oh, it was a great night. It was a it great, was a great night. night. Paul, Irish. Paul, two things. I've never first heard of all, him laugh so much in my life. First of all, I know that I was a part of this whole thing when it first started, and I saw the light a little bit, but for the first time in three years. We got all the power back. That's right. We got the tag titles. You were awesome that And we got the ringside title. <laughs> Actually, we might have to show that next week. What? Well, Paul did. Paul did. Listen. You. You. You're like a speed demon. You're like speed demon. This guy with the angel you're watching over my cousin. shoulder. I did what I had we to do. We should have carried him out on By the way, shoulders. and the second thing is, I know as we were, as you showed the clip, you asked, why did we <laughs> save Reba? Why did me and Scott save Reba? First of all, you don't want to see anyone get hurt, no matter who they are. Second of all, as soon as we got Phoenix out of the ring, we left him there to lie. Because like I said to him as we were leaving, you reap what you sow. Listen, me and Reaper are never going to be friends, quite frankly. And if he ever does come back from whatever injury he may have, still uncertain. Vicious. If he still gets in my face, I'll still drop him. We're not friends at all. They put me through a year of hell. Reaper can stay there and rot for all I care. But, you know, you hate to see it happen. It happened to me. Uh, I wasn't going to let it happen again. I actually had to force Scott to go out there. But you know what? Whatever. We got Phoenix out there, which is an entirely different issue. Part of the reason was I wanted to get my hands on the Phoenix. We just happened to save Reaper from a beating, which you owe us. Well, I don't know. You you did give us a little bit of money after we won, yeah. so I guess you but don't know. In a way, he still does because you know he could have been like seriously injured for life. We don't know the extension, but I mean, with them going out, that shows you the heart and the desire that these two men have. I mean, I can say you know how much I carried the match and how it was a great thing, but you know if you think about it, what he went through for a year. And T.J. Anderson. What I'm still going through, by the way, this exactly. title's nice. It's it's red, yeah, but I, I like I like the I like the black belt with the gold around it that I held for 18 months. You like the big belt, yeah? The single. Belt. This is nice, but yeah, you would. With T.J. and Power, uh, yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't, no, it's Even if the rankings are there, it still doesn't matter. But with Stunning going through what he did, and T.J. saying you got to start at the bottom, I guess this is like. Not the bottom, right? No, this no, is kind of like, good. like no, right here. It's right now. Just below. Just right there. below. We're right here. Yeah, no. and TJ's down here. You know, let's not forget, TJ's they broke. tried They tried to end Scott's career in September, too. They did. When all seven of them ran out. Well, now there's like three of them because every month they kick out another member. Well, every time they lose, they have so much angst. Yeah, that's your word. My word. Angst against their own teammates. They get rid of them. Look what happened to poor Stunning when they got rid of him. The man was champ for 18 months and you just got him like a piece of trash. Then poor Deanna DeVille, she gets thrown into the back like she was just pulled by a cord. And now they lose the match. It was TJ's fault, but it's Reaper's fault. So they get rid of him. And you know, th that should prove, by the way, how much of a scumbag Phoenix is. I was his best friend, then him and Reaper were buddy-buddy, and all of a sudden Reaper, you know, shows a little rebellion in him. And once TJ snaps those fingers, Phoenix tried to snap Reaper's arm, meaning... Phoenix is in this for the money, basically what it is. Well, fans, you know, also don't forget now, uh, you guys, when we did our last our last show, how uh, you were attacked. Huh. You guys were attacked uh, outside yeah. the studios. The champ, Scott Osborne, was attacked in his car. 
And, and I, when I signed up the last really show, we didn't know. We really didn't know how how uh, we didn't know Scott was going to be ready. Be. Exactly. He kept in touch with Stunning. All all that all that did was serve to tee us off a little bit. As you can see, we we weren't going out there to lock up and have a wrestling match. We were out there to the fight. The beginning of the match set the statement of what those two were against. Yeah, I was there. I was the eye candy, you could say. You know, I was doing. If it wasn't thing. for Bo Montana, he would have never came out to the ring. I was setting it. The Godfather knew what he was doing. It was a plan. It was a plan to make them fear three men instead of two. So, but anyway, it, you go to T.J. Anderson. He, he's a slug among mollusks. He's 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 scum, but he's a slug. And I'm not talking about the slug you can throw into a like a vocal vending machine. Well, he is starting in Shrek Three. Out. He is coming out soon, definitely. But a slug, that slimy little worm-like thing that looks like a baby eel that's been hatched through some embryo that doesn't exist. Hey, do you want to go to a bar tonight? Question. Now, the benefit of owning a company, and, and oh what, what is that? That's the benefit of owning awesome. a company, you can cut in any time you want, which I've done remotely. You've all had a good time for the last 27 minutes, talking about how funny you are, how cool you are, how motivated you are. Well, let's see how motivated you are after this in a little announcement. As you can tell, folks, by the footage, I didn't doctor the footage. That tape is what it is. Fact number one, I was not the legal man in the ring. Fact number two, Quest was not the legal man in the ring. Fact number three, Rob the Ref, idiot that he is, who was suspended, as you'll see next week, for 30 days. Well, I got a news flash for you, Rob. After reviewing the tape, I'm doubling your suspension to 60 days. So how's that? Precious Paul, now you know what you did at the end of the show, Halloween Happenings, October 28th. So, until the fans see it, I think what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to suspend you from ECTV and Ringside Entertainment. You are not allowed to make any commentaries. You are not allowed to do any programming. You are not allowed near any ringside entertainment production facilities until I say you can come back. See, I have that power. I have that stroke. Now, that leads me to the last two. Scott Osborne, you're going to lose that title. It's just a question of when. Stunning Sean Stevens, I have now made it my life's ambition and mission to rid the professional wrestling business of you. My goal now is to run you out of this business. Not out of this company, not out of independent promotion, but run you out of the business. And by doing that, well, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to up the bounty to $10,000. Okay? And the first man I'm going to send after you is the Phoenix. Because he's in it for the money, like you said. He's motivated by money. Well, $10,000 will motivate a lot of men to do a lot of things. And Phoenix... I know you're watching at home, brother. I know you got the poker thing going on. Ten grand if you take out Stunning Sean Stevens. Doesn't have to be in a wrestling match. Could be on Wrestling Center on Thursday nights. Could be on a ringside entertainment show. Could be at a club. Could be at a parking lot. Could be in an alley. Anywhere you take him out, all you do is bring me his lifeless carcass, and I'll be happy to fork over the ten grand. See, it's all funny. Okay? Until you cross the boss, the man in charge. Okay? Yes, I realize I'm the co-owner of this company. The other co-owner doesn't want to appear. Okay? He wants to sell his little road warrior gimmicks, and he wants to sell his hot dogs, and he wants to sell his peanuts. Okay? And he wants to dress like a complete moron. That's fine. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, I hear him in the back going, he's shooting, he's shooting, don't shoot, I can shoot because it's my damn company. That's why I can shoot. Okay, so mastermind, you're no longer the focus, you're safe. Okay, you just stay on your side of the company, do what you have to do, stay the hell out of my way and you won't get hurt. Precious Paul, Quest, Stunning Sean Stevens, Scott Osborne, I know you're the champ so i got to promote you a little bit more. So you just keep that look going, keep that belt shined up until I decide. Maybe I might take it from you. You saw me, quick as a cat on Saturday night. <laughs> you saw me, moving and grooving, shaking and baking. Reaper, why did he go? Why did we have to tear his shoulder to pieces so it's a jigsaw puzzle? Two reasons. One, he didn't follow the plan. And two, he got in my face. The first one was bad enough. 
we would have just beat the hell out of them. But the second one, oh, no, no, you do not put your hands on me. So for that, yeah, we dislocated his shoulder. Yeah, we tore his, his labor. That's torn, torn to shreds. Matter of fact, I think you're going to, uh, was it Dr. Andrews? Not on my dime. Next week, you're going to see why Precious Paul isn't on TV. I'll be joined by my new co-host for Commissioner's Corner, Frankie the Fixer. This is my money, my show. T.J. Anderson signing off. Stunning Sean Stevens. Your career is ended.